What up, y'all? Beardy here, video number three. Got another box for you, box number two of this month. So it's about halfway through the month, so that means all the boxes are going to come rolling in now. This video, Nerd Block, Classic Block. Um, I've been thinking about getting some of their other blocks too, um, the arcade one or the horror one. They look pretty good, um, but today it's the classic one. So, um, since we got a lot of these videos, let's just jump right into it. First off, we have a t-shirt. I don't know how well you can see it. Sorry, my camera does not have autofocus. It kind of sucks, but basically it's a Star Wars shirt. X-Wing Red 5. Cool design. I like that. Star Wars is uh, up and coming lately. The new movie's coming out, so we're going to see a lot of Star Wars stuff coming up in the near future. Cool shirt, cool design. Um, if you remember last month's Nerd Block, I had a big issue with the t-shirt. So let me see if I have it. Yeah. This one. Cool design. Love Deadpool. T-shirt was terrible because it just didn't fit. It was a poor quality shirt. Um, this one is better. Uh, they're getting better, so maybe someone took note of it last time and made it a little better. Still a little bit weird. Um, the material's a little rough. It fits a little bit awkward. It's kind of small because I think they're like pre-shrunk. But, I mean, it's better. At least it fits now. So, that's good. I, I like that. So, that's there. Good shirt. I like it. On to the next item. We have another shirt. Two shirts, one box. So, this one, you probably might not be able to see it. I'll try to put a picture up there. It's a little clearer. It says, Butterbeer. Pub crawl, annual butterbeer pub crawl. It's a little joke on the whole Harry Potter butterbeer thing. This one's pretty cool. I like this one. I like the design on it. Um, the color's cool, and I like the the yellow contrast of it. A cool shirt. Uh, this one actually fits a little better than the other one. This one's more fitted, and it feels like a little bit better material. Um, I'm not sure how they're picking out the shirts to get printed on or anything like that, but the the size of them seems kind of off. Some fit really well, some fit kind of awkwardly. Um, yeah, but another shirt. Cool. I think that's a great deal. Um, I'm kind of glad they didn't do the usual like Funko Pop thing because I'm seeing that come up in a lot of boxes lately and it just kind of seems like um, too much of a cop out at this point. It just seems like every box has another Funko Pop and uh, it's getting to be too much. So I'd rather have a t-shirt than the Pop figures just because I can wear so many t-shirts but I only have so much room for Funko Pop figures and there's a lot of them that are just kind of generic looking so that's really cool we got two t-shirts this month so definitely stepping it up I like that on to the next item next we have this little plush gizmo and I was looking at this and this is actually a really nice quality little plush figure uh, it has um, it's stuffed, but it has like plastic parts to it, so you can see a lot of the detail in this figure. Uh, really nice, actually. I, I think this is really, rather cool. Um, you see little plush figures and stuff like that show up in these boxes every once in a while. And again, they're usually very generic, but this one's pretty cool. You don't see this kind every day. And I, I like this. I think it's a, a good quality. Gizmo plush. Next, we have a little Creo little Lego-esque. It's not the Lego company, but it's like a little Lego figure from Dungeons and Dragons. I haven't opened it to see who it is. I'm not super familiar with Dungeons and Dragons characters, but looks like a cool little figure. This is one of those things that's not like a, a big deal for the box. It's not going to make or break the box, but it's just something cool to have thrown in there. I, I like that. That's cool. Next, we have a little Tetris notebook. And this is, uh, I'm assuming, just a blank book. It's just kind of like a little journal. It says it has some colored sections in there. Let's pop it open. Let's take a look. So this is cool. It has, like, colored pages that look like little Tetris blocks. That's cool. That's very clever. Um, I don't have uh, much use for a notebook, but... Anyone that would would find this really awesome. I think that's cool just because it's, it's an interesting little way to do a notebook. I, I like that. That's, that's a pretty cool way to do it. So there's that. Tetris Notebook. 
Next, and the final item in here. This one was really interesting, actually. They talked about it in the previous Nerd Block and said this was coming up. So you get a signed print from Willow. And you either get the autograph of the guy who played Willow, Warwick Davis, or Val Kilmer. Uh, this one, it's really hard to read the signature. I'm like 80% sure that's Val Kilmer, though. I'll try to put a close-up picture in there that's not all blurry. And you guys can be the judge of that. But this, I think, is really cool. Um, this is kind of what I like to see in these in these mystery boxes. Something interesting and something that you're not going to find everywhere. Like, I, I, in all my years, I probably would have never come across something like this. I'm not like a huge Willow fanatic, but I definitely like the movie. I remember when I was a kid, Val Kilmer's cool. Like, why not? I think this is really cool. It's a special thing because it's like specifically signed. I'm sure he signed a couple thousand of these, but even still, I think this is really cool. This is interesting, and it's something different. That's what I think all these blocks should strive for. Something different, something out of the ordinary that's that keeps it interesting. Besides like a plush or a t-shirt or a Funko Pop. Like, this is cool. I think this really made the box for me. This made it interesting enough to make me want to like possibly do more of these boxes. So there's that. Signed print. Now let's get into the overall review of this box. So overall review of the box. Nerd Block, um, I kind of like them. They have, they have a lot of options for boxes. They have the horror one, they have the arcade, they have the classic, and they have some junior ones. So it was hard to pick which subscription to go with for me. I went with classic because that just seemed like the best option. But um, since I'm doing all these reviews, after I do this month's review, I might look into getting the various blocks, uh, boxes, the various boxes from the Nerd Block Company. Get all those and see which is the best of the best. So that may be in the future to come. Um, overall for this box, pretty good. Um, I was, I had mixed reviews on last month's box. They had some good items in it, but um, the whole t-shirt thing threw me off. It was a bad t-shirt and and some of the other things were just okay, so I was, I was kind of mixed on it, but this one's much better. Um, Nerd Block's always going to have the toughest time pleasing me and its customers because this is one of the most expensive blocks out there. This one retails for $29.99, and I'm not sure if that's including shipping or not. It, it might be, but $30, which, which isn't a shitload of money, but it's definitely one of the more expensive boxes. But this one didn't displease in any way. So we got two shirts, we got our Harry Potter one, we got our Star Wars one. They're, they're decent quality shirts, they're not, they're not like fitted ones, but they're, they, they fit me, they fit okay. Like, uh, it's not perfectly fit, but that's okay. Like, I, I wouldn't expect them to be perfectly fitting all the time. Um, so two shirts, um, if we conservatively value these at $15 a piece, that's 30 bucks for the shirts right there. Um, this little Creo figure, uh, this one, Five bucks. Let's just round it off to five, but it seems fair. This gizmo, this figure, this plush figure. Normally, um, plush figures, I would say like somewhere between like around ten dollars, maybe fifteen. But this one's actually very nice. They have the plastic detailing and the nice eyeballs and stuff. So I would actually value this a lot more. Um, fifteen, twenty, maybe even more than that, because this is a good quality plush figure. I, I really like what they did here. It's not very generic and it seems like they went the extra mile to make this very nice so just to round this off um, I'm gonna say maybe even 20 bucks for this there's that and then the sign print this is really hard to give a value to um, signatures since most people don't buy signatures you usually get them for free by meeting the person and online um, signatures are kinda worth as much as someone's gonna pay for them Val Kilmer is, hasn't been like super famous recently, but he's definitely well known. So I, I'm, it's really tough to say how much something like this would cost. The print's cool. I'm sure that costs a few bucks. But even if we valued this as little as $5, that still puts the value of this box at 60 And that's, again, roughly around that kind of generalized value. $60. And that's if this was only $5, which I think it could go for more than that. But $60 for this box, which means... You doubled what you paid for, which is pretty tough to do. 
So even though this is one of the more expensive boxes, it definitely has one of the higher values that I've seen. So it's definitely a, a tough contender for the monthly review that I'm going to have at the end of this month. So I liked it. I think overall good box. Uh, I'm going to wear these shirts. I'm going to set this up. I'm, I think I might even get this framed. I think this is cool. Like, I remember this movie from when I was a kid. I'm kind of bummed they didn't both sign it. I kind of thought they were both going to sign it. So I, I, I kind of want the Willow one too. I wish they both signed it. But, you know, that's okay. Val Kilmer's cool. So overall, um, I give this box probably like a B plus rating. I, I think it was pretty good. I really liked it. Um, a lot of other boxes have arrived this month, so you're going to see some more videos coming up very shortly. Uh, I got my 1UP box, which that one was great. I also have my Loyal Subjects mystery bag, so that's coming up. So stay tuned for more reviews. Thanks for watching. Peace.